this is a quick server modification and there's loads of information on the internet if you just Google how to make a servo 360 degrees rotation. Basically, a servo is usually only designed to go between something like 0 to say 180 degrees. So it has a little detail that stops it from doing that. This is a really cheap, not even really a servo because it's not encoded, it's just a motor with a gearbox. But let's just call it a servo for now. And again, this has a little stop out detail which needs to be chopped off with something like a scalpel or if you've got it, uh, a Dremel or whatever. So take it apart, they do usually come apart quite simply. Um, and again, if we look at this for example is a, is a high-tech HS311 servo. And again, you'll find that this gear here will come out and if you remove all of these gears carefully, um, putting them on a sort of clean surface and keeping all the lubricant intact, you'll a, a sort of a not very good drawing, but you'll see that there's very definitely something that doesn't look like it's going to rotate easily. And you'll see with inside here, there's also a stop out detail. So by removing that bar again with a scalpel or a Dremel, then you'll find that this allows the whole thing to rotate. Now the other thing to remove is this little thing here called a potentiometer and you'll probably need to remove the circuit board as well. Um, basically, once you've got this motor out, uh, you can solder a red and a black wire, positive, negative, and that makes it essentially the same as this cheap model here. So it basically takes all the complexity out and allows you to have a 360 degrees high torque motor for your solder buddy.